welcome back to Kicking It With The Boys. Today, I welcome you all into my beautiful home. This is my kitchen. This is like my second favorite place in the house besides in front of my big 75 inch TV. <laughs> okay, so today, I'm gonna show with you guys my little um, fried chicken and waffles. Homemade chicken and waffles. Um, I pretty much have the kitchen set up with all my ingredients and everything. Um, I'm gonna start, my grease is nice and ready. I like to use canola oil. And my chicken has been seasoned. Here we have all the seasons that I've always used. My favorite yellow mustard, lemon juice, a little bit of lemon pepper, rosemary, chicken seasoning, garlic powder, and onion salt. It's just a little bit of flavor, um, different, you know, aspects in your chicken. You try it, you'll love it. Here I have my flour and breadcrumbs already mixed. And I'm gonna drop the chicken in the flour. I use a, a container of sort, some sort because I don't like to put my chicken in the bag and shake it around. You get too much flour on it, if you understand what I'm saying. So putting it in the container of a sort like this is just kind of, um, you know, give you a little bit better control of the flour and bread crumbs. I kind of like to place my chicken in my oil every other direction. Um, that way it gives the chicken room to breathe while it's cooking and it gets cooked equally. So as you can see, I'm inserting the drums because they're the bigger pieces. I always try to get the bigger pieces out of the way first. Um, I chose drums today because that's what was in the deep freezer. <laughs> I could have went out and bought wings or something like that, but drums will do it just fine. You never can go wrong with any kind of chicken and waffles as long as it's fried. We don't do a lot of fried chicken around here, a lot of fried foods at all. So when we do, it's kind of like a special occasion for us. All right. Again, I'm gonna try to identify all the drums and drop those in. And um, then we go from there. Okay guys, so here are the ingredients. We're using canola oil instead of vegetable. We have flour. We also have the bread crumbs to go with the flour. And then on the paper plate, we have our sugar, some powdered sugar, some brown sugar. As you see our seasonings, we have canola oil in a spray. Here's two different kinds of waffle mix. We're gonna go ahead and mix those together. And then we got two different brands of syrup because one from the cabinet and then one is brand new. Make sure that I keep my clean dish towel close by. That way I can keep the stove top wiped clean. You don't want any grease or flour accidents at all while you're frying anything. And then I'll just replace this towel at the end. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit, turn up the notch, get that frying a little bit more. And while that's frying, I will be making my batter for the waffles. Okay, I'm just flip checking on it, flipping everybody over, get equally cooked. I'm going to probably flip it more than once, of course. And they're getting nice and golden brown. Sometimes, depending on the thickness of the drum, I'll slit a little slit in the chicken to make sure it's done all the way. And now that all the um, other chicken is um, floured and ready with the flour and bread crumb, I'm going to let this fry. I'm going to replace these dirty chicken gloves in the trash, wash my hands, and start my pancake batter. Pancake waffle mix. Okay, I'm placing on my new fresh pair of gloves to start the pancake or waffle batter and mix. Um, I usually make enough for about six people. The waffles come out pretty thick, pretty huge. Um, so I just go, you know, the, the, the box has its own directions, but I usually just kind of go by eye. Um, so I'm just going to pour some into the bowl. And you notice I have two different brands here, but it doesn't matter. Um, really, when you're a cook, if you're good at what you do, it really doesn't matter what brand you use. To be honest, that's what I've always thought. My mom was stuck on a lot of recipes, like uh, like certain, you know, things like she used ragu sauce. And as an adult, I don't like ragu, but I have used ragu before on certain things. So again, to me, I've never really been picky on what brands I buy. Because if you're a good cook, it's gonna taste great. Okay, 
I'm gonna pour some batter in. Like again, I go by my eyesight. And do enough for maybe a little bit more now. Maybe do this. Maybe the whole box. Maybe the whole box. <laughs> Depending on sometimes I get tired after a while, I don't want to make anymore. I usually add a little bit of cinnamon, ground cinnamon, give it a little flavor. Um, I have vanilla flavoring. I, will, I never, again, I don't measure. I just pour it in. Then I'm going to cut up my apple and banana. And I'm going to add my water. Because this is just a mix. You just add water. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of my white, brown, and powdered sugar. Okay. Go ahead, Mom. Okay. I have my batter here. I've added the cinnamon and vanilla, as I showed you before. I always add a little bit of melted butter, which just gives it a more of a buttermilk flavor. And I just stir. And again, I don't um, do measurements really. I just go by eye when I add in the water. You just stir it. I usually do most of my meals from scratch. Again, today this is just a Saturday, one of our favorite meals, fried chicken and waffles. And as you see, the batter gets thicker. Yeah, it took the bowl for us so we can see. Yeah. We add more water. And you take the rest of your butter and you're gonna pour some of it over your already sugar glazed apples and bananas. So I have regular sugar, white sugar, brown, um, light brown sugar, and powdered sugar. And we're going to top the pancakes and waffles off. That's what I'm I keep saying pancakes, but it's just waffles. <laughs> All right, I'm going to drop some of them in. Just half. And I'm going to stir some, the batter a little bit more. See that as you stir mm -hmm. and stir. All right. Hi. Yeah. Waffles. Get ready to make the waffles. And I have my canola spray. And I just first um I want to make sure they're on. They're plugged up. And I always put them in the middle, between medium and max. You don't want it up too high. Mm -hmm. They will burn quickly. And I like my waffles kind of crispy, but fluffy. So I'm just going to spray the top and the bottom of both waffle irons. I'm in the process of working on getting me a, a double iron that makes at least four at a time. Because we love waffles. And I'm going to close that. Let those warm up a little bit. And I'll be back in a minute. You want to make sure you always use separate utensils. So we have this utensil here for the raw and already floured with breadcrumbs chicken to go in the grease. And you have this utensil here to take out the fresh hot chicken. We're going to check on some of it. See if it's ready. I kind of turned down the, the, um, the, the eyes a little bit. <laughs> Um, let it cook a little bit more because I don't want to cook it too fast because then it burns but then again we are frying chicken not baking so I'm going to turn that back up and I give them about a good five minutes a couple of them are ready maybe three or four of them will be coming out the grease both of my eyes have turned a little brighter green so that means that the waffle irons are ready mm -hmm. so I'm gonna open that one up open that one up as you can see, the oil is nice and brown. You don't want it to get too dark. And I usually use like an ice cream scooper, nothing major. I think about two or maybe two and a half scoops makes a complete thick, nice waffle. So I kind of just do that there. I kind of start in the middle. It may be more than two scoops. Again, I'm not sure. I just cook by eye. So I'm going to say a good, what, three? Yeah. Three scoops. Then I take my larger spoon 
and I just kind of smooth it out a little bit until that's all covered. You want to get it to the ends so you'll have a complete shaped waffle. I think that's good. I may have put too much in there. And I leave it open for a minute or two before I close it to let it get kind of crispy and bubbly. So same thing on the next side. One. Two. And three. Take our spoon. That one may, this iron may be a little bit wider. Yeah, I say that's a little bit bigger. So, I'm going to add maybe another half of a scoop. The circumference of this one is a little bit wider. All right. Now I'm going to sp spread that out to the ends again so you can have a complete shaped waffle. Leave it open for a minute or two. All right. Take a peek over here. Some of it appears to be ready to come out. Y'all think that look ready? How good does that look? Golden fried chicken. Freshly golden fried chicken. I've already added a few wings. Uh, the drums, some of the drums are coming out. But so far so good. That looks good. What y'all think? Let me know. We're gonna be careful and pop those in there like that. We're gonna make sure not to drop any of this hot canola oil onto the electric range top as much as possible to keep from a fire starting. You don't want a fire to start. That is golden. How about that? Golden brown, freshly fried chicken. Mmm. What y'all know about that? Okay, once the batter has begun to bubble, that's when I close my lids. I'm going to lock that one. And I'm going to close it here. I'm going to turn this one down a little pinch because it's smoking a little bit. I turned that one up a little bit more. So we're going to put it back down to like a minimum. And we're going to let those cook. And I'm back over to the chicken. Taking more out of the fresh hot canola oil. Making sure everything is done to perfection. Okay, we're going to unlock and check on the waffles. All right. And they look like they're coming along pretty good. This is a separate utensil besides the, for the raw chicken, for the fresh chicken, and for the waffles. <laughs> All right, so what I usually do, I usually check on my waffle, and right now it's really soft. Uh, I usually wait a minute before I flip them. I like to flip them. So I'm going to put those back down for a minute or two. And this one here, automatically. Ha! Oh, okay. And we're going to continue the chicken process. Make sure to always keep your stove top clean again so you can eliminate grease fires or oil. oil. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Waffle, I kind of butter them and place them on top of the powder and white and brown sugar. So, so as we stack, we're going to place them on the powdered sugar. So that's a nice little flip. Close it up for a minute or two. That looks good. That looks good. Give it a second. Again, we have the plate already ready with the butter, white, brown, and cinnamon sugar and powdered sugar. All 
All right, and that is the final product of the waffles. Okay, I'm at the complete phase of completion of the food. Most of the chicken is out. The only thing I have left in the oil is um, a few chicken gizzards. We like chicken gizzards as well. We don't eat them that often, but they're very good if they're fried professionally. Um, so the chicken is nice and golden brown, as you guys can see. The waffles are nice and sugar. And I have a few more going on over here. Getting ready to come out soon. So I made about a total of 10 to 12 waffles maybe. Again, they're huge and you eat two, you're full. I only can eat one. Sometimes I'll be extra greedy and try to eat two. Um, gizzards are coming out. They're nice and golden brown as well. Off. Drop them right on there. And that is it for the food section. I'll be back with a complete topped waffle. Okay, the final product uh, of the vegetables you got the bananas and the apples all glazed and ready to top on your waffle. We have the finished final product, the waffles with fresh fried apples on top, whipped cream, golden fried chicken. I want to thank y'all today for watching me. Um, I hope y'all had a good time. There will be more videos to come. Um, if you have any ideas, you know, drop it down in the comment section below. Let me know any food ideas you'd like for me to cook or anything you need help with. Let me know. Holla at your girl. Thank you.